guys, it's Lita. So I have no idea if any of you guys are going to be able to relate to this video at all, but I just wanted to tell you a few embarrassing stories um, from when I was a little kid about my toys. Now first off, when I was little, all of my... I didn't really have friends. All of the other little girls had, you know, their little American Girl twin dolls or just baby dolls from Target or something like that. And um, I didn't necessarily have one of those. I had an alien fetus doll and I cherished that thing. It had a big old head and big old creepy alien eyes and some pointy little ears and just little alien sucker hands. And while all the other kids were playing with their baby dolls, oh, here comes Lita with her icky, weirdy alien fetus child. And one day it disappeared. And I was sad for a very long time. Later on, my dad invited me to visit his classroom. He works at high school. Um, and so I went, and the moment I walked in the door, I immediately saw my alien fetus baby stapled with his hands like this above my dad's chalkboard. And he had a cross drawn on one cheek and a pentagram drawn on the other cheek. And also, my Tinky Winky plushie was also stapled elsewhere in the classroom with things drawn on him. I can't remember what it was, but my Tinky Winky. Anyway, later on as I grew up, I saw that movie that was from Disney about the horses called Spirit. So I asked my mom to take me to the toy store and I bought, I think it was six or seven um, horse plushies with bendable legs and stuff. What was the first thing that I did when I got home? I shut the door and I made them have sex. Yes, I bought those horses purely so I could make them 69 and stuff. And doggy style with horses. I gave them personalities and everything. Special voices, storylines, stuff like that. But it all ended in them doing some sort of sexual thing. I even made a sex swing out of straws and string. A sex... a, a horsey sex swing. How did I know what that was? I was probably six years old. And I made a 69ing sex pony swing. Welcome to Little Lita's Horsey Sex Dungeon. Have a nice trip. Here's a brochure. I also had many Barbie dolls. Some were also action figures such as Spawn, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, dinosaurs? I don't think that counts. And Xena the Warrior Princess, which I clearly remember playing with my Xena doll on the bathroom floor, and then she'd walk over and be like, you want a nipple sandwich? And then I ripped her shirt off. And not only would I make them have sex, I had about one or two men dolls and probably 500 female Barbie dolls. And I would make them get in these super elaborate naked Barbie bitch fights to see who would win the man. It was like the sex crazed Barbie games. I volunteer! The Hunger Games reference. Saw it for the first time last week. Kidding, I, I don't, I don't volunteer. Anyway, so uh, let me know your weird stories about your toys when you were younger. I, I'm gonna feel very, very worried for myself if none of you have stories as weird as mine. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. Probably, preferably on Twitter. Okay, I love you guys so much, and please have a beautiful day. And don't do too many weird things with your toys, please. Yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want with your toys. Make a sex swing for ponies. 69. Bye!